Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell, and today I'm going to show you how to install custom firmware on your Nintendo 3DS running any firmware version. This video is sponsored by the My Gear page on my website. You can find almost all of the gear I use to make YouTube videos and more right here. Visit jacksorrell.tv and have a look at the My Gear page and your purchase will support the channel at no extra cost to you. But now on to the video. In this video, we're going to be installing custom firmware. Unlike Homebrew, which lives on your console's SD card, custom firmware changes files on your system. All custom firmwares have the potential to break your system so be sure to follow this video exactly. I have a list of things to avoid doing with custom firmware on my website and linked below. For this video, you'll need an SD card, a magnet and an NTR boot compatible flash card. I've chosen to use this method which requires a flash card because NTR boot is one of the more safe methods which should lower the chances of damaging your console. I'll be using an R4i Gold in this video which was sent to me from digimarts.com. I'll have the link to this flash card down below and on my website. Certain other flash cards can be used as well but I strongly recommend using this one because it has a special switch which lets you switch it from flash card mode to NTR boot mode all without needing to flash it. And with this method you can use the flash card after we're done. I said in last week's video that I was going to announce the winner of the giveaway in this video but I ended up deciding just to announce it on Twitter. So to find out who won, go to jacksorrell.tv slash twitter or click the link below to find out. So good luck to everyone who entered because this 3DS right here is going to one of you very soon. Before we get started, it's time to shout out our Patreon supporters. For this month we have Alexandi1, Boxfish and Christian. So a huge shout out and thank you to them. But now let's get started and remember to leave a like on this video if it helped you out. To get started, we'll have to switch the flash card to NTR boot mode. To do this, you'll have to open it up because the switch is actually under the casing. Once you've opened it up, slide the switch over to N for NTR boot. Then reassemble the flash card and put it back into your 3DS. Once you put the flash card back in, it should not show up on the home menu. For the next step, head over to your PC and in your browser's URL bar, type in 3ds.console.guide and it will take you to the 3ds page on my website. Scroll down to this video and you'll see the links I was talking about. This is where to buy the flash card and this is what to avoid doing with custom firmware. Click custom firmware files and it will take you to this Google Drive page. Click the download button then save it to your desktop. Extract the contents of the zip folder to your desktop. Then open up the step 1 folder. Now open up your 3DS's SD card and copy everything from the step 1 folder to the root of the SD card. Now 
Then eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. And now, here's where the magnet comes in. We're going to be using the magnet to put our 3DS into sleep mode, but if you have a 2DS, just use the sleep switch. The sweet spot is on the right side, but the exact position does vary between 3DS models. On my new 3DS XL, it's just below the B button. You can use your own magnet or use the one included with the flashcard. I'll be using that one in this video. Once you've found the sweet spot, turn off your 3DS, then place the magnet in the position. Hold down X, Start and Select at the same time, then press Power. Give it a few seconds and you should see this screen. Enter the button combination shown on the top screen. Once it's finished, power off your 3DS, then head back over to your PC. Then open up your SD card and the Step 2 folder. Then copy this file over to your SD card and overwrite the old one. Then eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS. And now on your 3DS, go ahead and turn it on and you should see this screen. Scroll down to show NAND or user string in system settings, then press A to select it. Then press start to restart the console. Once it's restarted, go ahead and open Download Play. Once you're in Download Play, press and hold L, Down and Select to enter the Rosalina menu. Once you're in, scroll down to Miscellaneous Options, then press A. Then select Switch the Homebrew Launcher to the current app and press A again. Press B to exit back to download play, then press the home button. Close the software and then open it again. And then download play should take you to the homebrew launcher, but don't worry, it will return back to normal after your 3DS restarts. Now from the homebrew launcher, open up the FBI app. Choose SD for SD card, then choose the CIA's folder. Then select the current directory and press A. Then select install and delete all CIA's, then press A. Once it's finished, return to the home menu and you should see your new custom firmware apps. Let's open them now.
you're going to want to open this one first to patch the sound for homebrew apps. Press B and the app will delete itself because it only has to run once. You may want to move your custom firmware apps to a folder because you will accumulate loss in the future. But now let's open up system settings just to make sure that custom firmware is showing up there. And there it is, it says system 11.8, whereas usually it will say version 11.8, but the firmware doesn't matter, it's the SYS that does. Before you start using any custom firmware apps, it's best to make a system NAND backup. I'll have instructions on my website at 3ds.console.guide, which shows you how to make a NAND backup which I strongly recommend. And that's pretty much it. You now have custom firmware running on your 3DS on any firmware version. Don't forget to click the I in the top right corner to vote on which custom firmware video you want to see next. Well, that's all for today. My name's Jack Sorrell, and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video.